This was my first trip of 2024. Although the destination was not something like whoa, go out, whoa, whoa, what a place. But this trip was special for me because for the very first time, me and my school bestie Galantine went on a trip which we had dreams for the last 10, 12 years. Hello people, this is me Pragya Sharma exploring one at a time and I am here to share my Goa experience in February in which I will tell you how I went to Goa, the place we stayed, the cafes we went to, the party clubs we covered, the beaches we went, the reality of the famous Zindagi, dear Zindagi fame Para Road and details like nearest Goa bus stop, where you should deboard in Goa, weather in February, private taxi versus union taxis and some contact information. Do watch this video till the end, write your questions or suggestions in the comment section and now rock and roll. I went to Goa from Mumbai by bus operator Intercity. The operator was good, bus was good, the journey was bumpy. Arre yaar, baut bounce hota hai bus mein. Hyderabad and Bangalore se bhi mai gayu, Goa sabka ek jaisa hi hal hai. I didn't opt for a train because Margo and Vasco stations are quite far away from the city and mujhe city mein utarna tha to save a little on money. The nearest bus stop in the city is Mapusa. I deboarded to Mapusa, sahi stop tha, no harshal. My private taxi was already there to pick me up from the stop. Sahesh bhaiya kaafi sahi te, sorted te. He was always on a before time, rates bhi sahi charge kiya tha. You can do a little 100-200 ka bargain. I am leaving his contact details in the description box. He can pick up or drop from anywhere in Goa. All you just need to call him one hour or two hour before your time i have saved his number in case for my next time now talking about black and yellow union taxis are also available at the stop and i checked their prices same hi tha. in fact az taxis ka extra charge hai. plus to a certain extent kilometer ke basis pe they charge you extra i found a private taxi more comfortable than a union taxi you can go with your choice as per your ease Moving on to the stay detail, we booked our stay at Vedana Retreat situated in Arambol. Well, I feel it's a better stay ho sakta tha and I wanted to book white turtle property but wo available nahi tha. So we booked this place for the three days. They have rooms on the ground floor and first floor. Room on the ground floor are better than the first floor. But we decided to stay on the first floor because niche rooms mein ha profile wala mirror tha, which was a big no 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 for us. This is a deluxe room which was decent. The washroom was nice, the mirror was okay, the bed was okay. No intercom or telecom in the room. Airtel and Voda personal network aata hi nahi tha. We used to manage with the Wi-Fi only. Electricity bhi kaafi baar jaadi thi. And the curtains, oh my god. Blinds niche ke room mein the, upar ke room mein the hi nahi. So jaise hi sunlight hota tha, direct hit karta tha. Again, a big no-no is room ka. Just because of the mirror, we moved our luggage from ground floor to first floor. This is the restaurant area where we used to come only to have our breakfast which was included in our stay. They have a la carte breakfast, no buffet serving and per person you can order two meal items. One juice and one hot beverage from the limited breakfast menu. Well, is pe mera thoda sa argument hua tha in loke saath. Food was nice, really tasty, it was really good but we got bored eating the same stuff every day. We used to order from that limited menu. There's the small pool area. I don't know why. Well, that is it about the stay. Our experience was average except for the food. Everything was okay. Our stay was one of the least priority because we knew that we will be spending less time here. So, expensive stay didn't need to be. But it didn't need to be. Anyway, I would suggest to skip this property if you are getting better option than this. Sponsored stay nahi tha, so if you guys have any questions, do write in the comment section. I'll be super honest in my answers. Moving on to the next, where we partied in Goa. First, Salu. This is the place that was on my list and this club got popular after the Joris group visit and played for a straight 5-hour set. I like melodic techno and on Friday 9th, Grazi was coming to play. It wasn't the big place I expected. The food was nice, we ordered pizza and it was perfect. But the drinks were overpriced. Salu. 
second Thalassa. Well, I do not think this place need any intro. Me and my friend both enjoyed here a lot. By the way, there are four Thalassas in Goa, if I'm not wrong, and the one we went to was situated at Siolim. There was some dance performance, the drinks were good, the food was good. Surprisingly, the ladies' ke liye entry free tha. The charges were only for booking a table. The music they played was mix, Bollywood mix, English commercial and Punjabi mix. Overall, it was a nice night. Moving on to the next, cafes and restaurants. And spot 1, Noa, situated in Vagator area. This charming venue is a nice option to spend time enjoying the sunset or evening with good food and great drinks. You will get a vast variety of food and drinks and the prices are not that very high. The average cost of drink is around 300 rupees and the food was around 350 to 500 rupees. It is a big place, like a really big place with different types of seating arrangements. Check out their Instagram page and you will see what they have to offer you during the night. Spot 2, Mama Loka, situated in Anjuna, a beach bar and bistro. Well, they say that they offer one of the best places for sundowners and make your experience feel Greek style with the ambience. We ordered drinks only, one blueberry margarita, beer and some cocktail was there with mild whiskey added to it. Blueberry margarita was a little spicy with very little taste of berries. We told the waiter to make it in our way and they made it. My drink with whiskey was super nice. No doubt this bistro by the beach is a good option to spend some time and chill by the beach with your drinks. Spot 3 Purple Martini Situated in Anjuna, a restaurant bar offering a stunning sunset view and exotic drinks and food. A decent sized place with a positive vibe around. There was good music and nice people around but a little over pricey what we felt. We were craving for some desserts and ordered mini hazelnut pancakes. They were like button idlis of 8 pieces and the price was around 750 rupees. Oh my god, this is a lot for me. Well, give it a shot. I don't think you will regret a visit. That is it. I know all these three places are very popular on social media. In my opinion, I didn't find any of these three places are like overhyped, but uh, what the shot? Ha, price is thoda zarur hai. Moving on to the next, the sunset and evenings we enjoyed at an Arambol beach and the Para Road. Arambol is around 20 to 25 kilometers from the popular north destination like Vagator, Morjim, Anjuna, etc. Arambol area is more peaceful compared to the other areas. The area has limited restaurant bar and clubs. Actually, clubs to mile nahi te. I wanted to go to Garden of Dreams, Shunya and Sweetwater Lake, but all got missed. My friend's list is zyada important. Thi. So we did all that was there in her pick. Now most of the happening or famous party cafes, restaurant bar and clubs are in Vagator or Anjuna side. We used to ride around 40 to 45 kilometers daily two times in a day for the three days to cover places which were on our list. Evening was right, but daytime was exhausting. Rahe tha. Then we had uh, this thought like, wish we could have stayed in more gym nearby side. But it was okay, Abhi jo ho gaya, so ho gaya. let's just make our trip more happening. <laughs> I liked the Aram Bowl personally, but only this ride distance was a pain point. Tha. Make sure you check the location of your places in your list and the distance of your stay. <laughs> Next, Para Road, which is lined with palm trees and overlooking fields on both sides. I did not even know about this spot, but my friend wanted to take some shots at this spot where dear Zindagi films. She was expecting an empty road hoga like it was shown in the movie and we will take some amazing shots but for moving road hai where vehicle keeps coming, tourists keep coming to take pictures and you get a few seconds to take shot and run. I think early morning time will be good to find some space here. If this dear Zindagi famed para road is on your list, so do not think much. Ajao and have some fun but be careful with the moving vehicles. I loved Goa this time and the weather. Afternoons were burning but morning and evenings and nights were awesome. In fact, we used to wear a woolen in the nights during the ride. Thoda tanda lagta tha. I went to Goa in December, July and February and now this month has become my new favourite month for Goa. We explored Goa by renting a two-wheeler which cost us 400 rupees per day. 
वेल वीकेंड था एंड आरम्बोल में ज्यादा ऑप्शन नहीं है फॉर रेंटिंग टू व्हीलर सो हमने होटल से ही बोला था टू अरेंज इट सो दे डिड इट टू व्हीलर वाला बंदा वॉज ओके था बात करने में बाय द वे वी डिड चेंज अ वहीकल फ्रॉम सम खटारा टू दिस सीनो इसकी कंडीशन काफी बेटर थी उन्होंने थोड़ा नाटक तो किया था चेंज करने में बट ही डिड इट एंड दैट इज इट अबाउट माई ट्रिप कभी भी गोवा जाओ एक जैसा रहेगा ही नहीं किसी ना किसी ट्रिप में हर ट्रिप में एक्चुअली आपको लर्निंग्स मिलेगी एंड सो द सेम एज एपन विद मी एंड आई थॉट टू शेयर विद यू ऑल people who are following me on instagram thank you so much for showing extraordinary love for my other side of personality i'm glad you liked my all the stories which i've shared from goa those who are new to my channel here well i create videos on places to stay places to explore and places to eat more in detail about staycations do check my work here on youtube you can also follow me my instagram handle it's called khao local ghumo global oh my god what a great start of the years you see me in my next release the next destination update i will announce on instagram very soon until then travel safely stay safe and explore the world with care bye salam